Okay, first of all, let me explain my hair. Skiing all day, helmet head. Before I get into the mid-month stats, let me talk to you a little bit about how it's feeling out there. Well, I was on the front yard of a property the other day and there were six other realtors showing the property at the same time I was. Felt very 2020-ish, 2021-ish. Fortunately for me, as one here, the numbers do not support that feeling. It just goes to show that I think we're in a time where it's been a downward market for a little bit. Prices have come down dramatically over the last six months. For the first time ever in the last six months, we saw the prices rise in Canada. We're starting to see some confidence in the market, but the numbers really don't support that. So I don't know exactly why the confidence is coming. My intuition tells me that those people that have been putting off buying a property have decided to get back at it and start looking actively again. And with the lack of properties still out there, we're still sitting around 1800 properties. Without 4,000 on the market, we're still in a seller's market by the numbers. So again, choices that are, a lot of them that are out there are not good choices. And the well-priced homes sell almost all with multiple offers. So if you're a seller thinking about selling this spring, I would do it now. I wouldn't wait. I would get on it right away. If I was selling my house February 15th through March 15th, kind of the ideal time. You haven't got that rush of spring listings that have come to market. And so you get those buyers that are excited and they make offers and they don't have a lot to choose from. So let me get into the numbers, but before I do that, please smash that subscribe button. Give us a like, tell us in the comments what you wanna hear from us so that we can produce stuff that you wanna hear. Okay, so March. 2023 unconditional sales as of mid-March, we're sitting at 175. March 2022, at the end of March, we had 833. So let's divide that 833 in half and we're gonna call it 417. So again, if you compare year over year, we're still way down in those numbers. What do they mean to you? New listings by the end of March 2022, we had 1217. So you take half of that and you got 608. And so 608 versus 407, we're still not nearly as many listings as last year. So, and so the total active listings as of mid-March 2023, we're looking at 1885, still not 4,000, which would be considered a balanced market. So we're still way under that, well below half of what a balanced market would look like. Yet compare that number to last year at the end of March, we're looking at 1,063. So, you know, dramatically different. It's almost double what we had last year, but still only half of what it takes to become a really balanced market. That's why we're seeing upward pressure on prices. I think if I was to be selling, I'd do it now because I don't think this wave is going to be lasting as long as we think. Yes, the Bank of Canada held interest rates the last and most time. Will they do that again? I don't know. The bond yield is down as well, but I think this is a false sense of security. I don't think we've seen things shake out. So I've got a ton of listings coming up. So this market is bringing new listings to the market because people are hearing about the multiple offers and as that flood of new listings comes to market, yet there's not enough buyers to absorb them you're gonna to start to see prices start to dip again. I don't know about dip, but you know, certainly level off. We're not gonna see multiple offers for very long. If I were you, I'd get your home on the market now. 